the Tennessee men with the number 19 ranking. They open up SEC play coming up on Saturday when they travel to Arkansas. With a sports flash on 1420 NBC Sports Radio Tri-Cities, I'm Matt Pauley. Okay, Tri-City Sports Now is back here. And I did mention, I wanted to talk a little bit. The SEC, they're going bowling. And for them to go bowling at this late date, December 27th, when you have, what is it, 40-odd 40, 40 bowls. There are 130 D1 teams, folks. How can you... <laughs> There are too many bowls. I don't know. You know, one bowl game went out of business last year. I was ecstatic. I don't miss the Freedom Bowl. There's the Texas Bowl. I guess that this, in some way, shape, or form, uh, replaces the old Blue Bonnet Bowl. I don't know. It's you know, but uh, they're all trying to say how great this is that. Uh, you know, these uh, teams are playing and et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, Tom Herman, who's the coach of Texas, and I think is getting more than he bargained for now that he's gone from Houston, where you could go, you know, a winning record every year and everybody would love you. Well, now it's the uh, stakes are higher in Texas for the Longhorns. Uh, he's talking about the game and that, yes, players should be excited. I haven't been in a bowl game in three years, so if, it, if that doesn't excite you, player, um, then you probably uh, need to quit football and, and go do something else. I, You know what? Uh, a lot of seniors, I mean, we Christian McCaffrey last year, uh, looks like uh, what Josh Rosen this year just sit out these games now to before they go to the pros. It's not so much the excitement, it's just, what is the Texas Bowl? The outdoor, no, we, let's see here. It's the Academy Sports and Outdoor Texas Bowl in Houston. This is the old, what? it would be so difficult to call it the Blue Bonnet Bowl. Couldn't they get a margarine company to advertise for? Barry Odom, for some reason, he's the head coach of Missouri. He's excited about the atmosphere of this game. We know where the game is. We're excited to have that opportunity to step into this environment. One of the greatest environments, uh, you know, to, to play the game of football. I... Houston, one of the great environments. Uh, pro, I guess the Steelers thought so. They won on Christmas down there, huh? Uh, Missouri, of course, started out one and five. It looked like same old Missouri from last year when they were four and eight. But won their last six games. They sent Butch Jones packing as head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. They're seven and five. Drew Locke, I agree with Butch Jones in his final press conference. I think Drew Locke's great uh, junior quarterback of the. Missouri Tigers is going to be an NFL player. I think he's going to be an NFL starter. Okay. Uh, I, however, would excuse Missouri if they just weren't all that up. They're two point favorites in this game against the Texas Longhorns. The thing is, Texas teams playing in their home state in bowl games against teams that, yeah, Missouri probably is the better team, but, you know, they've always had these defensive troubles, and uh, Texas really is, you know, a mediocre record, 6-6 six and six this year, etc. They'll be playing for a winning record. I take it, I, I understand that, but uh, there'll be more fans. I know I'm the guy, and I started the show saying, oh, they'll be yelling at the visitors. It's just that Texas has a little more to play for. Missouri can win, though. It, it, it seems to me to be one of those games that you see in a bowl season where the underdog really has a very strong chance. That's my opinion. And it's only a two-point underdog. I mean, I've seen Purdue beat a Kansas State team that did not want to be playing. They thought that they were going to play for a national championship. They went to a Who Cares Bowl. Purdue at the time had Drew Brees. Purdue beat a Kansas State team that otherwise would have played for a national championship, and it was same old Purdue. So, outside of the fact they had a pretty good quarterback, but Purdue's known to have them. Uh, so this is what this Texas-Missouri game kind of strikes me as. And... I do think that it'll be a major statement for the SEC if they do win the game because of that, because Texas winning record, de facto playing at home. I mean, Houston is not Austin, but it's the home state. They'll have the fans, you know, Missouri, do they really want to be there? You know, they're playing not to get hurt. 
Okay. So I think that that is uh, an advantage for the Longhorns. Two-point underdog might be something right there for you. I don't know. I don't recommend that you go out and do this. Hey, it's illegal in Tennessee, so maybe you really shouldn't. I know somebody who once took my advice on a football game and lost $2,000 on it. But I got to tell you, history on the side of the Longhorns, I kind of like him in this game. But if Drew Locke and the Tigers win it, watch out for the future and watch out for next year. Tri-City Sports now returns after this.